Just about every child has a collection of some sort, stamps, model airplanes, comic books, but our Burley Hines has discovered a young man with a unique idea. He collects creatures from the past, eerie looking, frightful and bizarre creatures, and he keeps them in his bedroom. The mystery of the dinosaurs thrills and enthralls children of all ages. Whatever happened to this Apatosaurus? 30 tons of terror that walked the earth 195 million years ago. It's a question that has intrigued 13-year-old Peter Kaplan for nine years now. In fact, he literally lives and sleeps with dinosaurs all over his room. When I was about four years old, I got into dinosaurs, like most kids, I guess. And I started collecting postcards and models and other dinosaur things. And then as I got older, I amassed a collection. Peter wants to be a paleontologist. What else? and he leans toward the comet theory of the dinosaurs' disappearance. On his way to becoming a fossil detective, Peter has written and received cards and letters from hundreds of museums all over the world, including Moscow and South Africa. I think he really benefited from the experience of interacting with these people and seeing what they had to say and seeing how nice other people could be to somebody they didn't even know. Now you've got buddies, right? Mm-hmm. What do they think of this room? They think it's sort of strange. <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> um, you, go ahead. They like it, though. They think it's, uh, neat. Neat, but a little weird. <laughs> yeah. Peter doesn't spend all of his time studying and writing about dinosaurs. He plays soccer, even though his biggest kick comes from learning a new fact about a creature that refuses to die. Burley Hines, Channel 2 News. We'll see you again tonight at 10 o'clock. Good night.